And uh, when you're watching YouTube, who do you, who do you like watching the most? Oh, look at that. I thought I'd throw him a curveball and he'd say somebody like Cayman or... He wants a free hive. Yeah, or Dirt Rooster, <laughs> you know. I don't know, Van. I, I keep hearing that Alabama has the best beekeepers around. Is that I, true? I think they do. Well, see, you know, I, I, there's a lot of really famous guys down here, you know, I hear. So uh, I'm kind of getting in their turf and, mm -hmm. and maybe I won't get in trouble. But uh, we put one together and... He's, he's got his free hat on, <laughs> even though uh, he put that dirt rooster hat on first. So. <laughs> <laughs> that they want to try horizontal hive out. Now, me and Chris has talked for about, what, six months? Yeah. Yeah, somewhere around six months. Uh, you met Cayman Reynolds, is that mm -hmm. correct? Yeah, he came to our local beekeepers meeting here in Wilson County. And yeah, I think he may have mentioned a horizontal hive. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, you know, Chris has been keeping bees for about a year now. Mm -hmm. A little yeah, over a year. A little over a year. And he thought, you know, hey, let's, let's give this a shot and uh, he's had a little bit of a hard time, a little bit of bad luck, and we've had some great conversations. And, you know, with beekeepers, uh, it's not always about the bees. It's about the people that you meet. It's a tight community. Yeah, it's, it's a tight community. And we even seen that at the Hive Live conference uh, when we was there, that how the community kind of come together. So, but uh, Chris, how did you kind of get into beekeeping? Um, so originally I saw that the VA came out with a program for uh, beekeeping. I uh, looked into my local VA and they didn't have that program. Uh, so I talked to a friend of mine that's down the road about three miles and uh, he came over, kind of explained everything to me. Uh, we had a setup to where I was going to run a hive, he was going to run one next to me. Um, and then it just kind of stuck. <laughs> he, was, he was like, well, you know, if you don't get into it, then I can buy that one back or, or you know, you can buy mine or whatever the case. So I kept my hive. He's moved his back to, uh, to his property now. And uh, I wanted to expand this year, but with my lower back issues and everything else, I couldn't really lift everything uh, as far as like the the top box and everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is gonna make it a lot easier for me. Yeah. Um, lower back issues and everything else sucks. So <laughs> this, this will make it a lot easier. Yeah. What do so. you think about that, Grayson? I mean, I think this may end up being your hive. What do you think about that? Yeah. Yeah? All right. You like helping your dad out in the beekeeping? Yeah? Yeah, yeah? oh, awesome. So what's your, what's your funnest part when you get into the hive? What, what do you what do you find the most interesting? Um, probably um, how much bees there are. How many bees they are? Amber likes to touch them. She almost like pets them like pets. It's, yeah. It's why when she gets in there, so, uh, who's the first person to spot the queen? You or your dad? Um, mostly me. Oh, I've got old eyes. So. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Awesome. All right. Hello beekeepers, I'm Ricky Rourke and I'm here with Lee and uh, he decided he'd like to try the queen mating uh, hive and uh, so we brought it down to him here in Louisiana and what's the uh, county? It's uh, Lewington Parish, it's Dunham That's Springs. Right. Yeah. And let me tell you guys, he's got a YouTube channel and uh, I just happened to come across and we started talking and uh, he really knows a lot of stuff for a brand new beekeeper so please you know go to his youtube channel and check it out so uh lee how long you been uh, doing this for i got my first uh colony in 2020. uh i had a buddy that had bees and told him i wanted some so he called a friend he had just got a swarm in so i said i'll take it and i had one colony in 2020 i didn't get it until late season it was end of june beginning of july mm -hmm. And I made that one through the summer dirt, overwintered it. Mm -hmm. Last year, 2021, I had that one colony overwintered and yeah. bought eight nukes. Mm -hmm. And then I finished the season with 24 colonies. Wow. I mean, uh, just like Van that we seen yesterday, uh, beekeepers starting out kind of small, and next thing you know, in their second year, they've, they've blowed their hives up. I mean, they've got hives everywhere. 
Now you've got some other yards, is that not correct? I got two other yards right now, and I'm setting up my fourth yard this yeah. month. I mean, that's that's incredible. I mean, it really is. I mean, I'm a backyard beekeeper, and, and I don't even have that many hives, and these guys got hives everywhere. So um, so what, what kind of got you into keeping bees? I had a buddy I was working with in the plants. He had a couple of colonies, and he was always talking about them, and just kind of piqued my interest. So I got on YouTube, started checking out a couple of videos, and I said, something I think I want to try. <laughs> right. And it, it, it's an addiction now. <laughs> it's an addiction, absolutely. <laughs> it, it took off. <laughs> it just grows, don't it? Yes, absolutely. And uh, when you're watching YouTube, who do you, who do you like watching the most? Zombies. Oh, <laughs> look at that. I thought I'd throw him a curveball and he'd say somebody like Cayman or. He or wants dirt, a free hive. Yeah, or Dirt Rooster. <laughs> you know. I watch Dirt Rooster, I watch Cayman, Mike um, Berry, Mike, Bruce's Bees. Yeah, Bruce's Bees. I mean, you know, we was just in Alabama, you know, and Van did say that Alabama has the best beekeepers. What do you think about that? They ain't bad. They ain't bad. They, they need to come to Louisiana. They ain't come on over the state line and move over a little bit, yeah. Be like Mike Berry, he ain't maybe 45 minutes from me at the most. Right. Get back towards Hammond. Yeah, and, and Mike Berry's awesome. You know, if, if you need to know anything, watch Mike Berry. He's going to tell you how to do it. Yeah, he, he'll say he doesn't know how to do it, right? You seen his video today? No, I hadn't seen it. How to Nuclear. Really? I got to watch that one. I hadn't had yeah, to. Yeah, we've been on the road, so uh, we hadn't got to do that. Anyway, uh, Lee, I'll let you play with your hive here for a little bit and uh, just keep us updated. And, you know, I, I, I hope it works great for you, brother. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. Yeah. Hello, beekeeper friends. I'm with Van Duble. Dubay. <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> I knew I was going to mess that up. So, oh, well. But, uh, you know, I come down south and uh, I wanted to visit with uh, Van and Stephanie. They bought a couple of hives off of us and uh, wanted to come check out his bees. and get a video with him before some of these Alabama guys decide they want to get a video with him. So I'm I'm kind of getting ahead of him and uh, I don't know, Van, I, I keep hearing that Alabama has the best beekeepers around. Is that I, true? I think they do. Well, I see, do. you know, I, I, there's a lot of really famous guys down here, you know, I hear. So uh, I'm kind of getting in their turf and, mm -hmm. and maybe I won't get in trouble, but uh, uh, let everybody know how many years you've been keeping bees. Uh, almost one, <laughs> almost one. So got uh, started at End of, end of March last year, and it kind of turned into a slight addiction. It, it, slight, it, slight addiction. Slight addiction. You yeah. know how beekeeping is, guys. It's <laughs> just a little addiction, and it, it might grow just a, just a little mm -hmm. bit. Just a little bit. And um, uh, how many hives do you have right now, Van? Uh, close to 20. 20 hives. Close to 20. New beekeeper, 20 hives. I mean, he's he's got me beat. I mean, I don't know about some of you other guys, but he's definitely got me beat. So. Uh, he's also got a hive that's bearding out really heavy. Um, it's not quite swarm season, but you know, they might be ready to jet out. So, uh, you know, we may have to get a few swarm traps up or something. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the plan tomorrow. We're going, we got, I got some built and painted and, and ready. So we've got, just got to get out here and, and hang them on some trees. All right. And you got, uh, maples are bloomed out down here. Maple, red maples are bloomed, started blooming about two weeks ago. And uh, I guess the oak trees will start next. And, right. And it's, it's, and it's on, on from there. And I've seen lots of flowers blooming as we come on down. Hello, beekeeper friends. I'm Ricky Rourke, and I'm here with Dawson. Tell me your last name, Dawson. Burl. Burl. Okay. I'm bad to get last mm -hmm. names. You should do I've got a video <laughs> coming up. It's bad. So, But uh, Dawson was our runner-up in our uh, drawing for a free horizontal hive. And, you know, we were really looking forward to maybe him getting one, but... Uh, uh, or winning that one, but uh, that kind of fell through. And it was kind of good because a new beekeeper got that hive. Right. But, uh, you know, I'm happy Dawson, he said, hey, I, I still want a hive. And, you know, we, we put one together and he's he's got his free hat on, <laughs> even though uh, he put that dirt rooster hat on first. So. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, just wanted to talk to Dawson just for a few minutes and, and you know, ask him why he decided he wanted a horizontal hive. So the the biggest reason I wanted a horizontal, I've, I've got a friend and she's got one um, that's similar to this. I can't remember the name of it, but but I really like the way that it all works and you can kind of control how big or how small the hive gets. And, you know, with the abilities to queen and, uh, you know, just there, there's so much to it that, that you can do with it. And I really like it. Um, been doing Langstroth for four years and you know it's 
you kind of get bored. Yeah. <laughs> so, so let's try something, something different. Yeah. And, and I think uh, you was talking about you got some apemines. Yeah, I got uh, I got some ap apemine. Uh, apemine. I'm gonna try those uh, this year. Try them out, but they're still Langstroth. Right. You know, but, right. But uh, you know, I I, I, lo I love watching how this works, and yeah. and I'm really eager to get my hands on it and you know do something with it and just watch the bees thrive. In <laughs> yeah. It. Yeah, and then, like you said, you can always play with it. You know, if you want to put some extra holes in it, and, mm -hmm. and you know, do a queen rearing or a nuke in one side of it, there's plenty of room yeah. in one of these hives to do that. Because this is basically three deep hives. Right. I mean, there's there's some room in there. Right. And uh, but they are a lot of fun. And yeah. You know, if you have some friends to come over, you know, and instead of breaking a hive all the way down, you can just here you go, just lift yeah. it up and there you go. Let them look inside. So. Right. But uh, yeah, and I and I appreciate. Appreciate you uh, driving all the way up from Georgia. Yes, sir. It up. Yes, I mean, sir. It's my pleasure. I, whenever when, when I was watching the contest, I was like, "Come on, pick me, pick me, pick me!" And then I missed it by one. one yep. And I was like, "You know, I'm, I, I still want one." Yeah. And you reached out to me, mm -hmm. let me know that I'd won the hat. I said, yeah. "I want a hive anyway." Well, yeah. And uh, you were offering to ship it, and mm -hmm. I was like, "No, man, right. I want to come up and meet you. I yeah. want to, I want to be able to shake yeah, your yeah, hand yeah. and." and that's right. And see who you are, right. and, and I'm, I'm really blessed to right. see who you right. are. Yeah, we've had a great, great time talking to each other about yeah. the Lord, and uh, that's been a blessing. That's and, right. And it, and you you feel connected, you know. Uh, uh, that's that's a little bit about the fun thing with the hives. You know, I really get connected to a lot of my customers, and uh, right. when I get to talk to them and be with them, and it, it, it's it's even more special to me sometimes. That's right. You know, because you're connected to somebody else. Yeah. You know, yeah. and if you're watching YouTube and you know, if it's either it's Randy, the dirt rooster, right. or Cayman, or, or Jeff, Bob Inney, or Jeff, yeah. or, yeah, yeah, any of these guys, I mean, you know, it's it's amazing for me to meet them, right. you know, but they're just as humble as I am, that's and, right. and uh, anybody that's watching this that's my um, viewers, whatever, I appreciate you greatly, you know, uh, just like Dawson here, you know, he's, he said, hey, I want one of your hives, I said, wait a second, I got a drawing coming up, <laughs> and let's see if we can't win one that's first, right. you that's know, right. so, uh, it, it it means a lot to to uh, to have the support from everybody right. and and I and I appreciate you greatly you. and and uh, you know maybe if I get down in Georgia you know we're gonna stop in see your That's, bees you better come on yeah we'll, yeah. Get, some, we'll get some video of that for there sure you go. there you go <laughs> so, anyway Dawson I appreciate you thank buddy. you Ricky yeah pleasure to meet you and your family thank you. Yeah.